Good evening again, everybody. How y'all doing this evening? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're doing good enough to be on this line with us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. I'm one of your co-hosts, Kofi Bryant Sr., and this is my lovely co-host, Pastor Lachelle Bryant. And we together um, are endeavoring to inspire you to live out God's plan for your life and to complete every what? Assignment. Assignment. That he gives you. Amen. Well, let me ask you a question tonight. Mm. Where is your faith? Where's your faith? See, we've been indulging in a recollection, if you will, of the theme of this year. And the theme of 2021 was to discover creativity, creativity. and obedience. The year to discover what you're called to do, to be creative at doing it, and to be obedient to God. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. And one of the messages that we talked about in this year was, where is your faith? faith? Amen. Well, I want to ask you a question. Did you leave it at the grocery store? Did you leave your faith in a conversation that you were having with an individual. Mm. Did you leave your faith at your last devastation? I think I'm going to ask that question again. Did you leave your faith at your last devastation? The thing that happened to you and, and, and you believed that, that it would be positive outcome and it happened to be at that moment a negative income. Did that weaken your faith? Did that weaken where you were? Did that weaken your belief in God? See, I'm curious this evening, where is our faith? Where exactly have you left your faith? Is your faith in God? Ah, well, let's challenge that a bit. Amen? Amen. Hebrews 11, 6 is where we came from that evening. And I want to come from there again. But before we do, I want to ask you, is your faith left at your last place of disobedience? Mm. Because at your last place of disobedience comes the results of your disobedience. So that meant devastation. You got it. See, the last time you disobeyed God, there was a consequence that came with it. Sometimes, Pastor, we think that we obeyed God. And we don't get the results right. that we think we should get. Right. So our faith weakens. That's See, right. I pray every day, Pastor, I pray every day, and still this happened to me. Yeah. They just diagnosed me this such and such time period of this particular challenge, and that was after your prayer of faith on me. So you see, my faith is weakened in the area of healing. Mm. My faith is weakened in the area of my finances. I worked overtime and still had to pay. Well, don't forget this part. And I gave offerings and I tithed. Oh, my goodness. I gave my money just like the other preachers said. Because I haven't heard you two talk about it yet. You funny. But the other preachers that I heard told me to bring this to the altar and I would eradicate my debt, that it would eradicate my debt, that it would eradicate my negative situation, and still, I'm sitting here with the same problems. Where is your faith? That's a good question. Where did you last leave it? In, in our subsequent lesson, some of us discovered that we left our uh, faith on the shelves. That we needed to take our faith off the shelf and dust it off and use it. Amen. Well, I'm asking you tonight, where is your faith? Where is your belief? Pastor, one more thing before I ask of you to speak to me. I remember in the word it says that faith come by hearing, hearing and hearing the, the word, word of God. Of God. And so every time I read that and every time I get a spiritual perception by faith in my inner man about that scripture this is what I end up hearing your faith Come comes on. by hearing yes. not just of the word of God but whatever you hear the most Jesus. so whatever you keep in letting uh, pass the filtration system of your mind 
going through your ear gate. Yes. And 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 rattling what's in your mind. It's shaking your faith. It's shaking your belief system. And so I'm asking you, what are you hearing the most? What kind of music are you listening to the most? Mm. Faith come by hearing. What kind of conversations are you having the most? If you had to put your conversations in a template, what template would it follow? Would it follow the pattern of gossip? Would it follow the pattern of condemnation? Definitely not condemnation to you, right? Just to others. And what they're doing wrong. Where is your faith this evening? Where did you place it? See, faith come by hearing. Now, in that scriptural context, he wanted us to hear the word of God. Yeah. But I suggest that the faith come by hearing. So whatever you hear the most, you might have some confidence in. Mm -hmm. That's true. See, faith, as we established it on our last lesson about faith, was the confidence you have in the testimony of God. Yes. Do you believe God is who he says he is? Do you believe God can do what he said he can do? See, do you have faith, belief in confidence in the testimony of God. Well, what we're saying is, furthermore, whatever you keep hearing the most, you might have confidence in. So if you're not hearing the word of God, then you're doing yourself a dis... a dis... what? Satisfaction. Satisfaction. <laughs> Hallelujah. You fill in the blank. Mm. But thank you, Pastor Kofi, for that. Remember that message lesson that we had some months back was taken from Hebrews eleven six, mm -hmm. And it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder Water. of those who diligently seek him. Diligently seek the Lord. Hallelujah. Diligently seek the Lord as to what he wants you to do with your faith. That is your belief. Your confidence in the testimony of God. Amen. Hey, listen, if you found that your confidence wasn't in the right place, if you found that your faith, you've misplaced it, or you've allowed it to be placed in an improper setting where it's not growing and developing, take your faith back. Take your belief system back. Take your confidence back. As a matter of fact, you can do it with me right now. Matter of fact, say this prayer with me right now. Say, Father, Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I realize, I realize I've, been you, that I've been without you. Save me. Save me. I realize, I realize I've, not I've not operated with my faith, with my faith where, it needs to be. where it needs to be. Bring my faith back. Bring my faith back. In Jesus' name, in Jesus connect, name. Me back connect me back to your word. To your word. I, want I want to place my faith, to place my faith in you. In you. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I hope that message encouraged you, and I hope that prayer sealed your faith. Amen? Or fate. Either one. If you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, yes. then it sealed your fate. And if you said that prayer of encouragement, then it encouraged your faith. Amen.